I just did my makeup. I put my hair in these little clips. I'm wearing this H&M denim jacket type of thing. And then also a Zara brown mini skirt, a Zara top, and some black tights. I also have some like schoolgirl type of shoes. This is also from Zara. It is currently my sister's birthday celebration so we're just going to take a quick trip to boston boston is one of my absolute favorite places to go i feel like boston is a home away from home and i'm so excited to finally go back since the pandemic hit and i'm just so excited so let's go to boston <laughs> check up on her and just make sure she's okay i just finished my therapy session therapy is typically like a weekly thing and i feel like i just don't really need like a weekly therapy session i just don't really find much of a purpose nor is it really as productive to see a therapist for me right now every single week and i feel like i only really need therapy when i'm going through something and right now even though i'm i'm going through a lot of things but it's going really well for me anyway i just got back from boston yesterday and my body like my body's a little sore because all i did was walk around which i love walking around until i'm like super tired i do however have a little haul i went to this super cool super unexpected vintage thrift market i'm so excited to show you ah, okay let's go I am so excited for this vintage haul. So this is the first thing that I got. I got this, I think it's like a, it's a high school sweatshirt or jumper, whatever you want to call it. 
But what is so cool about this, first of all, can we talk about the color? Like, I am absolutely in love with the color. This is what I put underneath it. It's just this white button up top. I actually thrifted this white top and I cropped it. So it's not going to be so bulky when I put sweaters over it. This sweater is actually an old high school back, I think, in the 70s that no longer exists. The lady who sold me this... This was actually her parents, I think her mother's or her dad's, I don't know. But they used to go to this exact high school that doesn't exist anymore. Like, how cool is that? Okay, so... This is the next thing that I got. It is this super cute red cardigan. It has some fur around the neck lining. And I think it's just so classy and so cute. So it has this really nice soft velvet fabric. The only thing that's really bugging me are these shoulder pads, which I'm probably going to remove after this try on. This is the next thing that I got. It's this super cool, like I just did not expect myself to get this, but it's this super cool cardigan that the lady who I bought it from actually made. She made this from like a 1700s blanket it's on her tiktok which i'm gonna have linked down below you definitely need to go watch it because the process was so cool she took parts of the blanket and just like i don't know sewed it together or something but it looks so cool and it's perfect for the colder months to come kind of reminds me of anthropology and if anthropology was selling this they would be selling this for like $200 probably. So much work went into this and I'm just, it's like almost an honor to have this on right now. So I saved the best for last, which is this beautiful top that I got. It's actually Fendi, it's vintage Fendi. This top is literally a piece of art. It looks absolutely stunning. It has this lace detail right in the middle of the top and you can see right through it. I feel like this is the perfect amount of like being a little showy, but also being classy. It has this beautiful gold chain around the neck and this little Fendi detail right here. It has this like gold detail that runs across the back, which I think is so pretty. That is it for the try on haul. I gotta go do some work at the cafe. I do have a lot of things to do on my computer, so I might be there the entire day and then get some dinner with the fam or just my mom. I'm also really in the mood for a matcha latte and I kind of ran out of matcha so I gotta go get myself a little pick-me-up.